Hey there, I'm comparing two e-bikes. One is a full suspension bike, the other is a hardtail. Both of them has got wide plus tires. They're using the Suomi Fat Freddy 3-inch on the rear and the 45 North Ratchild 3-inch on the front. Going uphill on a level surface should be fine with both bikes. But it really isn't. The rear tire of the hardtail is bouncing, denting the surface and losing grip. The full suspension bike is way better. The ride is smooth and traction is good. The hardtail seems to be fighting the ground while the full suspension bike is being way kinder. Going downhill, the hardtail is doing much better. On these steep and narrow trails, you can't stay seated on either bike. So they're equally quick and equally exhausting to ride. There is just so much snow. All the tracks and trails in the area are just level. No ledges, no rocks or roots. So we're building a jump out of powdery, dry snow and twigs and a tiny log. Both bikes were equally good on this tiny jump and the hardtail even missed a tree. Unfortunately, the surface and the jump could only handle a few goes, so we had to stop and we cleaned up after us. By the way, this is a multi-use trail for people walking dogs, horses walking people, skiers and so on. And it started snowing, so any sins were soon washed away. The hardtail makes sense if you want an all-round bike that requires a minimum of maintenance. It's got no rear shock and much fewer bearings to service. And if you plan to use the bike for commuting in the winter, then having a bike with these wide 3 inch tires makes a lot of sense. When riding in 4 inches or 10 centimeters of fresh snow, these wide tires are just so much more stable than, say, the 2.1 inch and 2.25 inch standard mountain bike studded tire. But if trail riding is your thing, the full suspension bike has the advantage. <laughs>